What is up guys? Here we go again. Another big bad freaktography urbex bando adventure. As you can see behind me, got a beautiful staircase. We are in a really, really big abandoned mansion. Once again, in the middle of a residential neighborhood, lots of nice houses, and then there's this one lone, empty, forgotten mansion that somebody doesn't want. Somebody's gonna tear it down and they're gonna build a new house because this one's just not good enough. So I've gotta give a huge thanks to Rhythm Rider. He's the one that got us into this house. So guys, without further ado, cue the music, cue the intro, let's go get it. Okay guys, we are gonna start in the main foyer of the house with this gorgeous staircase. Look at these light fixtures up here. Now, a lot of you guys watch my YouTube videos for clearly abandoned places and decay and messes and time capsule houses and things left behind. But guys, there are dozens, hundreds, thousands of houses just like this one all over the place, large mansions, unwanted, they can't be sold. The developers or the owners are not happy with the house the way that it is. So they buy these places to tear them down and build a new house in its place. Guys, this house is perfectly good in my opinion, unless I'm not seeing something, but uh, the power has been cut, the water has been cut, and this house has been sitting empty for quite some time. So before you guys get on my case, tell me that this place is not abandoned, guys, trust me. This house is abandoned. So we're gonna move on now, starting from the front door. We're gonna cover the whole main floor first, then we'll go upstairs, and then we'll do the basement, all right? There is your main staircase, right there, beautiful. That'll be one of my pictures right there. It's gonna look just like that. Head up here, you got two beautiful lights up there, and then you have these chandeliers hanging. Probably looks very nice at night. We'll take a look down there in a bit. I do see some uh, something going on on the floor down there, quite possibly some water damage. So here is a living room area with a gas fireplace. Patio door to go outside. And some pretty nice windows. I do prefer a real fireplace over a gas fireplace, but I guess, you know, beggars can't be choosers. If we don't all get to have fireplaces. All right, guys, let's move on. This is your living room area. Not much to see. So let's head back here and we'll go back through here. Laundry, washer and dryer, laundry sink. I know you guys love to see the garage. So show you guys the garage. Three car garage. Fridge right there. Queen of Hearts. Nope, Queen of Spades. I got a little bit of stuff left behind here boxes and stuff. Hair dryer. So, there. Now you guys can't say I didn't show you the garage. I actually went into the garage for you guys today. Bathroom. We've got some toilet paper there. There's your toilet. Sink. Moving on into the kitchen here. 
beautiful kitchen, lots of covered space. Yes, I do sound like a real estate agent. So for a house that's a bit more modern than others, I find it interesting that there's an intercom system because these are typically found in older houses, not a house that looks as new as this one. Here's your dining room area. Look at the floor. Very echoey in here, guys. And then another living room area. Not a whole lot going on in here, guys. But, you know, they can't all be time capsules. They can't all be full of stuff. Another room with a fireplace. <coughs> I mean, for a guy who lives in a pretty simple condo, I just can't imagine what I would do with all these rooms. What do you do with all these rooms, guys? <clears throat> Beautiful windows, lots of natural light. All right, you want to go upstairs, guys? Let's do it. And of course, the beautiful view down. <clears throat> okay, go from there all the way down. And then up to the chandeliers. Here will be your master bedroom, I'm guessing. This is the biggest bedroom. Here will be a walk-in closet. I'm guessing. Yep, it's a closet and we're walking in, guys. Is there intercom here? It probably doesn't work because there's no power. Hey, okay. what is up, guys? What is up, guys? Doesn't work. Speaking of what is up, guys. What is up, guys? What is up, girls? You guys always yell at me because I never say what is up, girls. What's up, girls? Jacuzzi hot tub. Toilet. Stand up shower. His and hers mirrors. Nice place, guys. It's a nice place. Anything in the closet? Nope. Okay. Moving right along, guys. Head over to this bedroom. That's about it. Just the room. Curtains, gone. Carpet. That's that. Closet, guys. Take a look down while we're walking. Another plain bedroom. Oh, this bedroom's got a bathroom. Pretty simple. You guys say it. So, super clean house, guys, as I warned you originally, but I mean, I feel like it's not that often that we get to see the inside of a house like this, right? I mean, 
that's one of the things I like about exploring mansions is that a guy like me, you don't always get to see what these houses look like or how these people live, you know? This will be the final bathroom. Of course, we have a bidet. All the rich folks have bidets and very clean bums. And then there's your toilet and standard shower bathtub. And one great big, what is up guys? That is a pretty nice bathroom though, hey? Look how big it is. Very spacious. Huh. So as I was saying guys, we're gonna go downstairs now, but I mean, I like all locations that I explore for different reasons. And the reason why I like these mansions so much, because it's very interesting to me to see how some people live and what they do with their space. And I personally cannot imagine having this much room, <laughs> but it's interesting for me to see this. Like, what do these people do with all the space? What do they look like inside? And you know, if these people have the money for a house like this, well, good for them, guys. Oh, a lot of black mold in there, guys. I am not going in there. Oof. Look at the, got black mold coming out of that room, onto the wall there. <clears throat> That'll explain a few things. Check out this rec room, guys. This pillar right here, wow. This is nice, but oh, yeah, there it is, guys. Black mold. Whole wall full of black mold. That would explain things. And then follow all along the baseboards here, along the floor. You've got water damage seeping all the way through, all the way around. Another gas fireplace. And then, looking to me like it's either a, just another, maybe another family lived in here or just another entertaining space. But this is a full blown kitchen here, guys. <sighs> Keep walking through cobwebs. So here's your fridge and you know the rules, guys. We don't open the fridge. Stove. I gotta be careful, guys, because I don't want to, uh, okay, this is, uh, okay, we're safe here, we're safe. I'm just trying to be careful of the black mold, guys, because it's uh, pretty bad. Look at this room right here. See that? That is a very strange formation of black mold. And we'll get a little bit closer. I'm not going in there, because look at the wall, guys. The wall is coated with black mold. Right there. So we're definitely not going in that room. Whew, man. I didn't see that coming in this house. All that black mold. And then there's even more back here. Yep, that explains things, guys. Oh, that's bad. Right there. See it? Ooh. Oh, it's like there was a flood or something in here. Like, holy crap. Look at this bathroom, guys. This is one gigantic bathroom, but I'm not going in it because you can see all the black mold on the walls. Holy crap. Ugh. Okay guys, we're gonna go back upstairs because I can't handle all this black mold down here when I don't have my respirator on.
Okay guys, that's gonna wrap this video up. Hope you guys have liked this one. Super beautiful abandoned mansion. Thanks a lot to Britton Ryder, Zedding with Zay for hooking us up with this one. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be checking out this beautiful abandoned mansion right now. Number two, my good friend Carlo Pelosa. Gotta love you, BC. Links are down below for all my friends. Urbex Carlo, Urbex Jamie, Urbex Zay. My links are all down below. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. Make sure you drop me a comment down below. Say whatever you want. So we've covered like, we've covered comment. Make sure you guys share this video with your friends. And also guys, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I think you guys are gonna like what I have to say, what I like to offer. I think you guys are gonna like what I have to offer. I think I got some pretty good stuff. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. See you guys next time. What is up guys?